Hello, this is Yumina again, and I am doing a fragrance tag video. I believe this is part two. The questions were created by Josh Jane on YouTube, and I saw Whip Babe's YouTube video, and she listed the questions. So there are 13 questions, and I'm going to start. So then, and I have notes so that, um, that's why I'm looking down. So the first question is, what is your newest fragrance? And mine would be this one. I am receiving it in the mail in about three days, and it's the Marc Jacobs Perfect, by, um, and it's the EDP. So that would be my newest fragrance, and that's that. So my oldest fragrance would be my MAC Candy Yum Yum EDP. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And um, hot pink is my favorite color, so this one is definitely... A top favorite as well and then my most expensive fragrance I'm going to say is the my Burberry blush and I believe it's the EDT it's the EDP actually so this actually came in a set that included a lotion but the set only tacked on a few dollars more to the actual cost of the fragrance so before the discount and after the discount, because I got the set on discount, um, this is still the most expensive fragrance. And then most affordable would be this Victoria's Secret Love is Heavenly. Um, I received this on discount as well, and this was um, $13. And it's one of my, and it's an EDP as well. Um, and it's actually one of the older fragrances that I had as a perfumed oil instead of actually as a perfume but this would be my most affordable and my easy reach would be the coach floral blush let me see I wrote this down coach for coach New York floral blush EDP and it's an easy reach um, when I am not set on what fragrance to wear that day I will usually wear this and it's usually on my vanity but I'm gonna actually be switching around things but it's easy reach because it smells really good uh, fav favorite bottle design and that would be Marc Jacobs Decadence also decadent um, also decadent um, but yeah cutest design looks like a little purse and then smallest bottle would be Giorgio Amani My Way. I actually use this bottle. I have about five bottles that are minis of the actual perfume. And this is the only one that I actually use as is. The rest of them I just keep around for decoration. But I do want this as a larger size at some point. And then my biggest bottle, I believe, is also the Marc Jacobs one. And that's in ounces. It's 1.7 ounces. Best memory association. Have I decided on that one yet? Oh no. <laughs> okay, I don't believe I have one for that. <laughs> okay, so worth the hype would be this one, Lancome um, Idol EDP. I believe this is worth the hype. I actually have this one, which is almost done. I have a, another one this size, and then I have a roller ball as well. So I love this one. It's very nice. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting, but I actually was able to sample that before I actually bought any of them. Straight from the, I was able to sample it by mail through Lancome on um, an Instagram post I saw. And then not worth the hype. Oh, I don't have that with me. It is the YSL Libre. Libre. Um, it was very pretty. It smells very pretty, but um, it became uh, too heavy for me. And I have allergies, so I can wear scents, thankfully, but I can't wear all scents. I find out sometimes after wearing it that some scents I can't wear because they give me a headache or something. So that one gave me a headache. I didn't realize it right away, but I actually just had it as a travel size spray. And I was trying to give it away to someone, and it actually slipped out of my hand as I was letting him smell it for his wife <laughs> but yeah but that one was not worth the hype for me i know a lot of people actually love it but it's not for me as it said so freight favorite fragrance from favorite house where did i put oh no i put it back here okay 
So it would be this one, um, Mason Margilia. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And it's replica and it's whispers in the library. So I want to try a lot of fragrances from this brand. I haven't tried a lot um, yet. I think this one and then Beach Walk I've tried. Um, but this scent, this is absolutely one of my favorite scents. It does bring me back to the library. I used to be an avid library goer from the time I was um, probably eight, maybe in the early teen. Anyway, but I've been a library goer for years and years and years, and I only recently stopped going to the library back in March of 2020 when everything started going down. So yeah, and this is just such a lovely little scent, and I would love to get the full size of this bottle one day. Um, so yeah, that is a favorite fragrance from a favorite house. And most used fragrance would definitely be this one, which is Woman by Ralph Lauren. And this, you can see it, how it has only a little bit. I actually have a new one, um, a backup, and it's the largest size that I was able to get. So I will not be out altogether. And then I'm going to add one, I'm going to add two questions to this tag or fragrance tag. So I actually have about 15 sample cards of fragrances that I've collected over time. I used to leave them at my gym when I was done sampling and deciding if I wanted that fragrance or not. But I have not been able to go to my gym since March. So this is my favorite sample fragrance, which is Nest Wild Poppy EDP. Um, yeah, it smells really good. So I would like to get this as a larger size at some point. And then a f fragrance that I use as also sample size um, are these two. Oh, I hope I know how to say it. Oh, Toka. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Um, Florence and Gia are two ones that I like a lot. And they're rollerballs. And these, I actually use them. And I think they're really lovely. So one day I would like to get these in full sizes as well. So that is my fragrance tag. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And everyone have a good day when this video goes up. And have a good week. Take care. Bye.